Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play one of the most iconic guitar songs of all time. In this video we're going to dive into While My Guitar Gently Weeps, as recorded by the Beatles. Now first we're going to go through all the chords, the strumming patterns, and the different sections that you need to know to play the entire song. And then make sure you stay till the end, because at the end I'm going to talk about soloing and how you can start improvising over this chord progression. So let's get straight into it. The first part of the song, the intro, begins with this classic Beatles move where they would play a chord and then walk the bass down. It starts on an A minor and goes... So I'm playing this A minor from the fifth string down, open, two, two, one, open. And then what they do is they walk the bass down. So A goes down to the note G, and that's the third fret of the low E. So right there I was using my pinky, and then when I do that I often mute the fifth string, and then I play the top four strings they're the same as, you know, the A minor. So it's A minor and then with the G in the bass. Now from there, you could go to a D chord and put your thumb on the second fret of the low E. So this is called a D with an F sharp in the bass. So I'm playing two on the low E string, then muting the fifth string, then open two, three, two. And then the fourth chord here is an F chord. And the way that I played it a second ago was actually as a thumb chord. So I put my thumb on that low E string, first fret, and then three, three, two, one, one. It's basically the same as this. So whichever way you wanna play it is fine, but what I want you to note is that that bass is walking down. You got A minor, a minor over G, D over F sharp, F. Now sometimes I actually play the A minor like this with two fingers. So this is an advanced way of playing it, but once you get it, it's actually, I think, easier in the long run. So you play the A minor like this, and then I just put my ring finger. Because this is a tricky move to have your A minor like this, and then Put the pinky there. It's just hard for me to get that pinky in there and keep everything sounding clean. So you could do that. You could also just play A minor and then go to the A minor, just take that finger off and put the ring finger on. Now it's not exactly the same, but it'll still work and it gives you a few easier options as well. So that's the first part of the progression, and I'm gonna walk you through the rest of this song step by step. But before we get into it, I wanna give you a gift if you're new to the channel. And this is something that's really gonna help you out with learning songs faster and learning your fretboard. And what it is is a fretboard guide that I put together. It's just a one-page PDF, but on it, it shows you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And this is one of the most useful PDFs you can get for learning the guitar neck, and I wanna give it to you completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, and you can download it as my gift to you. Now, from there, we actually go back to A minor, and then G, which is all six strings, three, two, open, open, three, three, and then D, with no F sharp in the bass, just straight up D, and then E. This is all six strings here. Open, two, two, one, open, open. So that's the intro progression, and each chord actually lasts four counts. So we'll go one, two, three, four, with the G in the bass, two, three, four, D over F sharp, to F, two, three, four, then A minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. Then
then George comes in with the verse there. So that's the intro. Now, as far as a strumming pattern for this song, here's a great one that will work through the entire song. It's just one bar long. It sounds like this. So I'm on the A minor here, and I just go down, down, up, up, down, up. Or if I counted out the rhythms, it would be counted like this. One and two and three and four and. So my strum hand goes down, one, then it comes back up, but I play air. I don't play the strings. Then I go down, up. Then I go down, but I play air. And then I finish with up, down, up. So what you'll notice is my hand is always going back and forth, but sometimes I play air and sometimes I play the strings like this. One, two, and three, and four, and. Then we would go to the next chord. Now from there we go into the verse and this is where George comes in singing. We actually play the same thing again so those eight bars are repeated. Here it is again. Dun, 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 dun. Then we continue with the same thing again, but we just change one chord. We change the second to last chord. So previously that was a D chord, but now we're gonna change it to a C. So we play the same thing, but change that one chord. That sounds like this. A minor over G, D over F sharp, F. A minor. G, here comes that change, C. All right, at this point in the song, we go on to the bridge. Now, something really cool happens here. We actually change keys. So, so far in this song, we've been actually in the key of A minor. But here, George goes to an A major, and it's almost like the sun comes out. It's just a completely different sound for this part of the song. It's great. So it starts on the A, and then we move up to C sharp minor at the fourth fret. This is a bar chord, four, six, six, five, four. Then we go to F sharp minor. This is starting on the second fret, two, four, four, two, two, two and then back to C sharp minor. Now for the first part here, each one of these chords lasts one bar. So we're gonna do the same strumming. That's the down, down, up, up, down, up, then switch. Okay, now we're on that C sharp minor, then what we do is we bring it down two frets. So this becomes a B minor chord here. Two, four, four, three, two. Now when we get to this part, we actually stay on the chords for two bars. So we double the length of each chord. Then we go to E. Then it repeats, okay? So here's this entire bridge section played as one piece. It's 16 bars. Here it is. One, two, three, four, A. C sharp minor. F sharp minor. C sharp minor. B minor. Stay here. E. And we do it again.
right, then we go back to the verse section. So that's it as far as the chord progressions go and the different sections. Again, we've got that really cool change where we go from the A minor to the A major, and then we go back to the minor when we go back to the verse. Now the guitar solo happens over the A minor section, sort of that bluesier, sadder sounding chord progression. All right, so next I wanna give you three licks that you can practice playing over that minor progression, the first part of the song that we learned. Now here, we're starting out on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and then roll that over to the seventh fret of the fourth string, so. Then go to the third string and go four, five, and then come back to seven on the fourth string. And then you can create this little repetitive part like this. Then on the third time you can go. So that is on the third string, four, five, seven, five. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually playing off the melody of the song. One, two, three, four. So that's the first lick and you could see that those notes are really just an A minor scale, which again, you wanna grab my fretboard guide so that you can work out those scale patterns. Then from there, you can go. So this is sliding from seven to nine on the third string, then come down to five, then seven on the fourth string, four on the third string and then finish with seven, five, seven on the fourth string. And I'm really thinking about, well, my guitar can be used. And you can do cool things like bend into notes instead of like. Or you could slide like this. And you just get expressive with it. In fact, that's one of the things that you hear that's so just, you know, Clapton solo is just drenched in this sort of really just pushing and pulling and bending the strings and being as expressive as possible. So for the third lick, we're gonna start on the fifth fret of the third string and we're gonna bend it up and then come down. <laughs> three times, then on the fourth time, we'll just play natural and then go back to the second fret on the third string. So. So you may use these licks in context like this. One, two, three, four. So work out the rhythm parts, and then when you're ready, dive into more of the lead. And to help you put this together even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below, or you can just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. This is gonna share with you the five chords and scales you gotta know to map out your entire fretboard and show you the framework that I use. Again, just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide and grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more Beatles tunes, check out this video next.